Welcome to Boost Solutions video tutorial. Boost Solutions is a leading developer of SharePoint add-ons, web parts, and workflow solutions. For more information, please visit our website at www.boostsolutions.com. This video will show you how to use SharePoint Data Connector. Data Connector creates an easy and secure way to connect between SharePoint lists and external data sources. Once you've installed this solution, there are two ways to access it. The first is to select Site Settings from the Site Actions drop-down menu. Locate the Data Connector settings under the Boost Solutions software section. The second is to enter any SharePoint list you want to set up a Data Connector job for. Once you have entered your list, click the List Settings tab on the ribbon. Under General Settings, you will find the Data Connector settings. Let's set up a new Data Connector job now. The first thing we will do is create a new Data Connector job by clicking the Create Job button in the Data Connector Job Center. When you enter the Job Setup page, you will notice that there are three tabs, General Settings, Schedule, and Notification. Let us take a look at the first tab, General Settings. First, enter a name for your job. Next, choose a direction, from list to external data, or from external data to list. Next, choose a list. You will notice that when you connect from list to external data, you can choose a list from the drop-down menu, and then choose a view. If you connect from external data to list, you can either choose an existing list from the drop-down menu or create a new list. Next, you will set up your external data and authentication. Specify your external data type. Enter your database server. Choose your database authentication and enter your username and password. Next, click Connect. After the connection is successful, choose a database from the Database drop-down menu. Under the Data Settings section, if the database is selected as target, you can select a table to receive data. If the database is selected as source, you can filter data by table, view, or an SQL clause. In this video, we will create a job that will connect a SharePoint list to an external data. In the column mapping section, you can map columns between SharePoint list and external data. You can tick the key checkbox to uniquely identify records. In the Run Options section, you can choose Add Operations to add records that only exist in the source, Update Operations to update records that exist in both the source and the target, Delete Operations to remove records that only exist in the target, or Write Back Operations to add, update, or delete changes from SharePoint list to external data. At this point, you can either save this job or continue with the next tab, Schedule. Schedule allows you to enable background updates on a fixed schedule by minute, by day, or by week. At this point, you can either save this job or continue with the last tab, Notification. In this section, you can get an automatic error notification by email, and enable the system to enable logging and specify how long to keep log files. At this point, you can save this job. You will return to the Data Connector Job Center. On this page, we can test to see if the job works. Click Run. You will need to wait for the job to complete running. This may take time depending on the complexity of the job and the amount of data to be transferred. Your data is successfully transferred when the job status changes from waiting 
to ready. This brings us to the end of the video tutorial. Thank you for watching. For more detailed information, please refer to the Data Connector user manual.